What's going on YouTube? Sorry I didn't do an unboxing video like I had said in the last video. But I've been working on this box here for the SCAR 15. It's a T-line. It's huge. Um, started this about 10 a.m. It's now about 3 o'clock. So... Nothing really much else to do since it is raining outside. It's the Durango. And this the port on this thing is huge. Just so you can get a little idea of how big it is. Here is a regular size Coca-Cola can. And there's the port. Pretty big. Alright, so let me take this top piece off here since it's not on yet. Uh, I'll show you what the inside looks like. Alright, here's the inside. Haven't done the 45s yet in the corners, but I was thinking about uh, cutting up some wood to do that, but instead, um, I think I'm gonna go run by Lowe's or Home Depot and grab some. 16 inch uh, sano tube and then uh, cut it so it's 16 inches tall like this these pieces are and then cut, and, cut it into a half circle and uh, just kind of do a half circle like that and so from here to here it'll be 8 inches and it'll be a nice round and same with here and then a little piece in that corner possibly another little one here going to put a layer of resin on the inside and possibly a wooden dowel from here to here because this is just a single piece of wood it's not double baffled support the uh, the weight and the power of movement of that SCAR 15 on the back here got a 3 inch overhang like right here and the amps are going to sit inside of here and a piece will go straight across the back and with plexiglass windows blue LEDs so you can see the amps and that's about it so I'll go get those uh, sauna tubes like I said and I'll get back to you probably in the next video see you I forgot to mention I got this compressor and uh, Brad nail gun from my uncle, which was pretty cool. That's probably why you didn't see any screw marks on the corners. Just tiny little holes. Which was pretty nice. So, uh, yeah. See you guys later.